Not all hyperbaric chambers are the same. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is about saturating the body with oxygen. This is most effectively done by delivering 100% oxygen through two different pathways, by inhalation through your airways and by absorption through your skin. It is important to note the difference between hyperbaric oxygen therapy, HBOT, and hyperbaric therapy, HBT, also referred to as mild hyperbaric. The most significant difference between the two is the O, as in oxygen. Because mild chambers do not use 100% pure medical grade oxygen, it cannot be referred to as hyperbaric oxygen therapy and cannot equally be compared to the potency and effectiveness of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Mild chambers are inflatable bags originally intended for use in mountain climbing accidents or air sickness and have been substituted for pressurized oxygen therapy. These bags were never designed to be used with enriched gases such as 100% oxygen. The bags are energized by electricity and inflated by an external ambient air compressor which merely produces approximately 21% oxygen and can only pressurize to a maximum of 1.3 ATA or equivalent to a depth of 8 feet. Compared to our Seacrest chambers, which utilizes and is pressurized with 100% pure oxygen and can be pressurized to a maximum of 3.0 ATA or a depth of 66 feet, clearly the difference is significant. Considering ambient air is circulated through the mild chamber, there is a risk of breathing contaminated or polluted room air, which can be counterproductive. Established protocol by the leading hyperbaric physicians in the world and announced at the Autism One conference held in Chicago in 2004 for hyperbaric treatment of autism in a chamber is 1.5 ATA of pressure or the equivalent to a depth of 16.5 feet. The mild chambers do not meet these established protocols. Our Seacrest chambers were designed to heal ischemic tissue or tissue that is restricted from receiving enough oxygen by hyperoxygenating the body, blood, and plasma. Some results may be obtained in the lower pressure air filled chambers, however, it will take many, many more sessions than in the higher pressurized 100% pure oxygen chambers. Not only is the lower pressure treatment likely to be ineffective and essentially prolonging the therapy program, it may in some cases be detrimental to your medical situation. For example, if there should be a loss of electrical power, the mild chamber could rapidly deflate, causing possible barotrauma to a patient's ears and pneumothorax to patient's lungs. Our Seacrest chambers are energized and pressurized with 100% pure oxygen. Again, be weary of terms like mild hyperbaric, low-pressure hyperbaric, or soft hyperbaric. My name is Hope Fine, and I am founder and clinical director of the South Florida Center for Hope.